After adding solute to solvent, the mixture will become solution. Therefore, solution vapor pressure is less than that of the vapor pressure of the pure solvents. The relative lowering of vapor pressure depends upon number of solute particle, not on the nature of the solute particle. Delta Tf is directly proportional to M. If you remove the proportionality sign, delta Tf is equal to Kf into M. Hello my dear students, I am Renuka Ashok, the Department of Chemistry, Vidyashram Pre-University College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Today, I am going to take 6th session of chapter solution. In the previous session, in the previous session, I discussed about Raoult's law and the type of binary solution like ideal solution and non-ideal solution and the type of solutions, type of solution in non-ideal solution having positive deviation and negative deviation together with I discussed about azeotropic mixture. Today in this class, I am going to discuss about colligative properties. Which type of properties? Colligative properties. So, and under colligative property, the four important colligative properties are relative lowering of vapor pressure. First one, relative lowering of vapor pressure. Second one, elevation in boiling point. Third one, depression in freezing point. Osmotic pressure. Fourth one, osmotic pressure. Okay. Today class, I am going to discuss about the important property, one of the property that is called as what? Colligative properties. Can I repeat once again? Colligative properties. Today topic name is colligative property. The four important colligative properties are relative lowering of vapor pressure, relative lowering of vapor pressure, elevation in boiling point, depression in freezing point, osmotic pressure, osmotic pressure. Okay, now let us consider what are colligative properties. What are colligative properties? First point, colligative property it is holds good only for dilute solution containing non-volatile solute. Dilute solution containing non-volatile solute. What are the two conditions for colligative property? The solution must be dilute as well as the solute must be non-volatile. Solute must be non-volatile. Now, Colligative properties are the properties of dilute solution. Colligative properties are the properties of dilute solution containing non-volatile solute. Containing non-volatile solute. This properties depend upon number of solute particle. This depends upon what? Number of solute particle relative to the number of solution particles relative to the number of solution particle. So, the colligative properties, the properties of dilute solution, properties of dilute solution containing non-volatile solute, properties of dilute solution containing non-volatile solute depending upon number of, depending upon number of solute particle, depending upon number of solute particle as well as it is independent of nature and it is independent of nature. It is independent of what? Nature. Whether the solute is ionic or covalent, don't worry about the nature of the solute. Don't worry about nature of the solute. So, it is is independent of nature of solute but depend upon number of solute particle depends upon what number of solute particle these properties depends upon number of solute particle as well as they are independent of nature of solute particle such properties are called as colligative properties my dear students what are colligative properties colligative properties are the properties of dilute solution colligative properties are the properties of dilute solution containing non volatile solute that depends upon number of solute particle and it is independent of nature of solute particle depends on number independent on nature the four important colligative properties are relative lowering of vapor pressure elevation in boiling point depression in freezing point osmotic pressure what are the four colligative properties the four colligative properties are elevation in boiling point relative lowering of vapor pressure depression in freezing point and osmotic pressure 
the first colligative property the first colligative property is relative lowering of vapor pressure the first colligative property is relative lowering of vapor pressure relative lowering of vapor pressure is pa not minus pa divided by pa not pa not minus pa divided by pa not so what is relative lowering of vapor pressure pa not minus pa divided by pa not now i am going to explain what is pa not and what is pa now let us consider a volatile one solvent okay so volatile solvent this is a volatile solvent to this non volatile solute is added to this non volatile solute is added non volatile solute is added what happens its vapor pressure decreases its vapor pressure decreases when a non volatile solute is added to a volatile solvent the vapor pressure decreases vapor pressure decreases when solute is added to solvent when solute is added to solvents its vapor pressure decreases its vapor pressure decreases after adding solute to solvent the mixture will become solution therefore solution vapor pressure is less than that of the vapor pressure of the pure solvent solution vapor pressure is less than that of vapor pressure of pure solvent if i consider pa not is the vapor pressure of pure solvent and pa is the vapor pressure of solution here always pa not is greater than pa pa not is greater than pa what is pa not pa not is what vapor pressure of vapor pressure of pure solvent vapor pressure of pure solvent what is pa vapor pressure of solution what is pa vapor pressure of what solution okay so therefore vapor pressure of pure solvent vapor pressure of pure solvent is always greater than vapor pressure of solution always greater than vapor pressure of solution why vapor pressure of solution is less than that of vapor pressure of pure solvent vapor pressure of pure solvent because when we add solute to the solvent when we add solute to the solvent its vapor pressure decreases therefore the vapor pressure of pure solvent is greater than vapor pressure of solution so that one we can say the vapor pressure of solution is always lower than that of vapor pressure of pure solvent difference in the vapor pressure of pure solvent and vapor pressure of solution is called as lowering of vapor pressure he is called as what lowering of vapor pressure my dear student already i discussed that pa not is greater than pa what is pa not pa not is the vapor pressure of pure solvent what is pa vapor pressure of solution pa not is greater than pa now you take the difference between pa not and pa what is pa not vapor pressure of pure solvent what is pa vapor pressure of solution it is called as lowering of vapor pressure lowering of vapor pressure now you take the ratio of lowering of vapor pressure vapor pressure to the vapor pressure of pure solvent vapor pressure of what pure solvent lowering of vapor pressure and uh, uh, vapor pressure of what pure solvent that is called as relative lowering of vapor pressure relative lowering of vapor pressure what is relative lowering of vapor pressure relative lowering of vapor pressure is the ratio between lowering of vapor pressure ratio between lowering of vapor pressure to the vapor pressure of pure solvent to the vapor pressure of what pure solvent okay so relative lowering of vapor pressure is the ratio of lowering in vapor pressure to vapor pressure of what pure solvent therefore the relative lowering of vapor pressure is pa not minus pa pa not minus pa divided by pa not divided by pa not what is pa not vapor pressure of pure solvent what is pa vapor pressure of solution vapor pressure of solution always pa not is greater than pa what happened when non volatile solute is added to solvent the when non volatile solute is added to solvents its vapor pressure decreases its vapor pressure decreases now according to raoult's law already you know that pa is directly proportional to xa pa is directly proportional to xa pa is equal to pa not pa not xa pa is equal to pa not instead of xa you write down 1 minus xb 1 minus xb pa is equal to 
रिलेटिव रिलेटिव लोयरिंग ऑफ वेपर प्रेशर रिलेटिव लोयरिंग ऑफ वॉट वेपर प्रेशर वॉट इज एक्सपी एक्सपी इज मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सल्यूट एक्सपी इज मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सल्यूट एक्सपी इज मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सल्यूट सो पी ए नॉट माइनस पी ए डिवाइडेड बाई पी ए नॉट इज रिलेटिव लोयरिंग ऑफ वेपर प्रेशर रिलेटिव लोयरिंग ऑफ वेपर प्रेशर वॉट इज एक्सपी एक्सपी इज द मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सल्यूट वॉट इज एक्सपी मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सल्यूट ओके नाउ दिस स्टेटमेंट is called as raoult's law of relative lowering of vapor pressure R relative lowering of vapor pressure that is pa not minus pa divided by pa not is equal to xb is equal to xb relative lowering of vapor pressure relative lowering of vapor pressure is equal to mole fraction of the solute is equal to mole fraction of the solute here so the relative lowering of vapor pressure of solution containing non volatile solute is equal to the mole fraction of solute this statement is called as raoult law of relative lowering of vapor pressure previous class has discussed about one more raoult's law that is raoult's law of binary solution containing volatile liquids raoult's law of binary solution containing volatile liquid today i am discussing about one more raoult's law that is raoult's law of relative lowering of vapor pressure thus the relative lowering of vapor pressure depends only on the number of solute particle and it is independent of the identity hence the relative lowering of vapor pressure is colligative property colligative property therefore the relatively mathematically the rules of relative lowering of vapor pressure pa not minus pa divided by pa not is equal to xb what is xb xp is mole fraction of solute xp is mole fraction of solute xp is mole fraction of solute it can be given by nb divided by na plus nb nb divided by na plus nb therefore rules law of relative lowering of vapor pressure is mathematically represented as pa not minus pa divided by pa not is equal to xb in place of xb you write down nb divided by na plus nb nb divided by na plus nb next to calculation of molecular mass of a solute using relative lowering of vapor pressure now the mole fraction of solute xb is given by nb divided by na plus nb raoult's law is given by pa not minus pa divided by pa not is equal to nb divided by na plus nb for dilute solution the amount of solvent na is greater than that of nb therefore na plus nb is approximately taken as na approximately taken as na therefore in place of na and nb i'll write na i'll write na because for dilute solution what are dilute solution dilute solution means quantity of solvent is more the quantity of solute is less therefore the na plus nb is approximately equal to na na nb is w by mb na is wa divided by mb okay now in place of in place of nb pa not minus pa divided by pa not if i replace it is it nothing but what w by divided by mb na is wa divided by ma so rearranging ma goes to numerator therefore mb is equal to wb into ma wb into ma divided by wa into relative lowering of vapor pressure reciprocal pa not is goes to the numerator pa not minus 
pH goes to the denominator. Therefore, the molecular mass of solute, molecular mass of solute is equal to Wb into Ma divided by Wa into Pa naught divided by Pa naught minus Pa. It is a formula to calculate the molecular mass of solute by using relative lowering of vapor pressure, by using relative lowering of vapor pressure, where W and Wb are the masses of masses, Me and Mb are the molar masses of the solute and what? Solvent. Thus, by determining the value of relative lowering vapor pressure of dilute solution of known concentration experimentally, the molar mass of the solute can be determined. Therefore, how do you determine Mb? Mb means denominator you write down Wa. Here you write Wb into Ma, reciprocal of relative lowering of vapor pressure, Pa naught divided by Pa naught minus Pa, Pa naught minus Pa, it is the molecular mass of solute, molecular mass of solute can be determined by using relative lowering of vapor pressure. Once again, I will repeat my children. So, what is Raoult's law of relative lowering of vapor pressure? Raoult's law of relative lowering of vapor pressure states that for a dilute solution, the relative lowering of vapor pressure is equal to the mole fraction of the solute, mole fraction of the solute, okay. Therefore, the relative lowering of vapor pressure depends upon number of solute particle, not on the nature of the solute particle. Next, elevation in boiling point. Elevation in boiling point is denoted by delta Tb. Elevation in boiling point is denoted by delta Tb. Elevation in boiling point, it is denoted by delta Tb. Now, before discussing about elevation in boiling point, you should know about what is boiling point. Boiling point is a temperature, the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid becomes equal to the external pressure. The vapor pressure becomes equal to the external pressure. At temperature, the vapor pressure becomes equal to the external pressure. That temperature is called as boiling point. Therefore, my dear student, what is boiling point? Boiling point is the temperature at which vapor pressure of the liquid becomes equal to its what? External pressure. The vapor pressure of the solution of a non volatile solute is less than that of pure solvent. Already you know that Pa naught is greater than Pa. That is, vapor pressure of pure solvent is greater than that of vapor pressure of what? Solution. Therefore, solution require higher temperature to make the vapor pressure of solution equal to the external pressure. Why the solution require extra temperature? Because the vapor pressure of solution is less than that of vapor pressure of what? Pure solvent. Okay. Therefore, the boiling point of a solution is more than that of pure solvent. The difference in the boiling points of pure solvent and solution is called as elevation in boiling point. Elevation in boiling point delta Tb is equal to Tb minus Tb naught. Delta Tb is equal to Tb minus Tb naught. What is Tb? Tb is boiling point of solution. What is Tb naught? Tb naught is boiling point of pure solvent. Boiling point of what? Pure solvent. Tb and you know, Tb naught. What is elevation of boiling point? Elevation of boiling point is defined as it is the difference in the boiling points of pure solvent and solution. Therefore, what is the formula for delta Tb? Delta Tb is equal to Tb minus Tb naught. Delta Tb is equal to Tb minus Tb naught. What is Tb naught? Tb naught is the boiling point of pure solvent. Tb is the boiling point of what? Solution. Therefore, how do you calculate delta Tb? That is elevation of boiling point. Elevation of boiling point is determined by taking the difference of boiling point of pure solvent as well as what? Solution. Therefore, what is the formula for delta Tb? Delta Tb is equal to Tb minus Tb naught. From experimentally, it is shown that for dilute solution, elevation of boiling point is directly proportional to the molal concentration. That is, delta Tb is directly proportional to M. M is molality. M is molality. Elevation in boiling point. Elevation in boiling point. That is, delta Tb is directly proportional to molality. Directly proportional to molality. When I remove the proportionality side, it will be nothing but Kb. Therefore, delta Tb is equal 
equal to KB into M. Delta TB is equal to KB into M. What is delta TB? Delta TB is the elevation in boiling point. What is M? M is the molality. M is molality. What is KB? KB is elevation constant or ebulloscopic constant. KB is ebulloscopic constant or elevation constant. When molality of the solution is 1, delta Tb is equal to Kb. Delta Tb is equal to Kb. Let us consider the molality of the solution should be equal to 1, then delta Tb is equal to Kb. SI unit of Kb is Kelvin kg per mole. SI unit of delta Kb is Kelvin kg per mole. Therefore, you should remember what's the formula for delta Tb. Delta Tb is equal to Tb minus Tb naught. What is Tb? Tb is the boiling point of solution. What is Tb naught? boiling point of pure solvent. So, how delta Tb is uh, related with uh, concentration? Elevation of boiling point is directly proportional to molality. Elevation of boiling point is directly proportional to molality. Delta Tb is directly proportional to molality. Delta Tb is equal to Kb into M. What is K? K is molal elevation constant or ebulloscopy constant. When M is equal to 1, delta Tb is equal to Kb. What is the unit of Kb? The unit of Kb is Kelvin kg per mole. Kelvin kg per mole. So, this is the graph vapor pressure versus temperature. Vapor pressure versus temperature. This is the graph for solvent and this is for solution. This boiling point of solvent and this boiling point of solution. Okay. So, this is about elevation in what? Boiling point. Now, in elevation in boiling point, you have to calculate the calculation of molar mass of solute using elevation of boiling point. As you know, already I told you, delta Tb is directly proportional to molality. Directly proportional to molality. If I remove the proportionality sign, it will become Kb into M. Kb into M. What is Kb? Kb is ebulloscopic constant or molal elevation constant. Ebulloscopic constant or molal elevation constant. Delta Tb is equal to Kb into, as you know the definition for M molality, Wb divided by Mb into 1000 divided by Wa. 1000 divided by W. This is the relationship between delta Tb. Delta Tb is equal to Kb into to Wb into 1000 divided by Mb into Wa. Molar mass of the solute Mb is calculated using equation Mb is equal to Kb into Wb into 1000 divided by delta Tb into Wa. What is Mb? Mb is molar mass of solute. What is Kb? Ebulloscopic constant. What is Wb? Mass of solute. What is delta Tb? Elevation of boiling point. What is Wa? Wa is you know, mass of solvent. Here A represents solvent. A represents solvent. B represents solute. B represents solute. B represents solute. Represent solute. Kb is molal elevation constant or ebulloscopy constant. So, when you observe this, molecular mass is inversely proportional to inversely proportional to elevation in boiling point. As molecular mass increases, elevation in boiling point is what? Decreases. Elevation in boiling point as well as molecular mass of uh, solute are inversely proportional to each other. What's the final expression to calculate molecular mass of solute? Mb is equal to Kb into Wb into 1000 divided by delta Tb into Wa. What is Kb? Kb is ebulloscopic constant. What is Wb? Mass of solute. What is Wa? Mass of solvent. What is delta T? Elevation in boiling point. What is Kb? Molar elevation constant. Next, let us consider depression in freezing point. Depression in freezing point. Freezing point of a liquid is the Temperature at which the vapor pressure of the solvent in its liquid and solid phase become equal. Vapor pressure of in its liquid phase as well as vapor pressure of in its solid phase, if it become equal, then it is called as what? Then it is called as what? Freezing point. What is freezing point? Freezing point is the temperature at which uh, vapor pressure of the solvent in its liquid become equal to the vapor pressure of in its what? Solid phase. So, we know that the vapor pressure of solution containing non volatile solute is less than that of pure solvent. Therefore, that is already you know that 
PA0 is greater than PA that is vapor pressure of this decrease in freezing point of a liquid is known as depression in freezing point there is a decrease in the freezing point of the solution that is called as what depression in freezing point depression in what freezing point depression in freezing point delta tf is given by tf not minus tf tf not minus tf experiment have shown that the depression in freezing point is directly proportional to molality directly proportional to molality that is delta tf is directly proportional to m if you remove the proportionality sign delta tf is equal to kf into m delta tf is equal to kf into m what is kf KF is molar depression in freezing point or cryoscopic constant. KB is abiloscopic constant. KF is cryoscopic constant. So, when M is equal to 1, when the molality of the solution is 1, then delta TF become equal to KF. Delta TF is equal to KF. SI units of the constant KF is Kelvin kg per mole. Kelvin kg per mole. Kelvin kg per mole mole okay so therefore it's the graph which shows the vapor pressure versus temperature this is for solvent and this is for what solution and this is delta tf here it is tf and it is here tf not okay calculation of molecular mass of solute using what depression in freezing point already you know that delta tf is directly proportional to molality directly proportional to molality when you remove the proportionality side it will become kf into m delta tf is equal to kf into what is the formula for molality wb divided by mb wb divided by mb into 1000 divided by wa wa rearranging mb is equal to kf into wb into 1000 divided by delta tf into wa wa what is mb mb is the molar mass of solute mb is the molar mass of solute what is kf kf is cryoscopic constant this is weight of solute this is weight of solvent delta tf is what delta tf is a depression in freezing point delta tf is what depression in what freezing point depression in freezing point that's the thing so when you consider all colligative properties when you observe the molar mass in the numerator colligative properties are in the denominator from one this you can say the molecular mass of solute is inversely proportional to colligative property inversely proportional to colligative property higher the molecular mass lower will be the colligative property colligative property as molecular mass increases the colligative property decreases so therefore so elevation in boiling point and in depression in freezing point you come across two constant kb and kf kb is abiloscopic constant kf is cryoscopic constant what's the unit of abiloscopic constant and cryoscopic constant abiloscopic constant and cryoscopic constant its unit are kelvin kg per mole kelvin kg per mole kelvin kg per mole okay in this class i discussed about what are colligative property once again i'll repeat what are colligative property it holds good colligative property only for dilute solution containing non volatile solution the properties of dilute solution containing non volatile solute they depends upon number of solute particle and it is independent of what nature of the solute the four important colligative property are first one relative lowering of vapor pressure second one elevation in boiling point third one depression in freezing point fourth one osmosis what is relative lowering of vapor pressure is the ratio between lowering of vapor pressure to the vapor pressure of pure solvent what is elevation of boiling point it is the difference in the boiling points of solution and solvent what is the depression in freezing point it is the difference in the freezing point of solution and what solvent so here you come across two constants kb and kf kb is abiloscopic constant kf is what cryoscopic constant was the unit of kb and kf kf kelvin kg per mole how molecular mass of solutes are related with colligative property molecular mass of solutes are inversely proportional to colligative property my dear student in the next session i'll come up with the fourth 
colligative property that is osmosis osmotic pressure osmotic pressure the fourth colligative property is osmotic pressure but if you want to understand osmotic pressure you require the help of osmosis therefore next class i am going to deal with the seventh session of solution chapter osmosis as well as osmotic pressure and i am going to solve numericals by using this formulas that is molecular mass of solute how they are related with what colligative properties okay therefore in the next session i'll come up with the fourth colligative property osmotic pressure until that goodbye thank you my dear students